because sometimes all you need is a gentle nudge, a kind word to keep your flame alive. The season of autumn still surrounds us in the northern hemisphere when we reach the time of giving thanks. Let's take a moment and review how we arrived at where we are right now on our annual journey. Autumn begins at the autumnal equinox on September 23rd, when the day and the night are balanced anew. Just before that, the sun was bathing our emerald planet with its warmth and brightness throughout the summer. The earth soaked in the solar nourishment to produce the fruits. The harvest begins in late summer and continues into the early autumn. Humans, too, have the opportunity to receive the celestial gifts of light. Hopefully, we slowed down enough to allow the universe to recharge us during the sun's high season. But then it's time to return back to the earthly reality. We need to return back to the daily life and find the balance between our spiritual and physical natures. Life-sustaining feminine force gives power to my will. The fire, the urge to exist, draws spirit light into matter. My soul becomes alive, aware of its human nature in action. The verse that I just read belongs to the Soulful Week 26, surrounding the feast of Archangel Michael on September 29, known as Michaelmas. We are invited to become more fully aware of our thoughts and actions. Autumn can be either a gracious and conscious descent from the heavens onto the earth and deeper, or a painful fall into the matter devoid of soul. The choice is ours. The soulful sparks help us stay on the conscious track. The Soulful Sparks of Inspiration is a weekly blog that contains my verse and article along with my sister's photo, and it all arose out of my contemplation on the Rudolf Steiner's Calendar of the Soul. In 1912, the Austrian esoteric philosopher and spiritual leader Rudolf Steiner published a little booklet called Calendar of the Soul, with the verse for each week of the year. He suggests that we begin on Easter Sunday, a celebration of soul's victory over death, which is the first Sunday after the full moon following the spring equinox. The soul's annual journey then follows the path of the sun and the moon across the sky. The autumn always begins with the verse 26, for the week of Michaelmas. At the end of October and beginning of November mark the middle of autumn. It's sad that we are so caught up in an odd commercial masquerade of Halloween that we've forgotten the pagan roots of this holy day. The transition into the weeks of gratitude and preparation for the winter. Unfortunately, November and December have been overshadowed by advertising, pushing us into the mindless mode of buy and buy some more. But this period should be spent in genuine gratitude and conscious action. We should allow time for quiet contemplation to review what has transpired since January and recognize the abundance we've received so far. We should find and clarify the vision for the months ahead and then create a mindful plan for how to manifest our dream. 
Autumn is the season for clear thinking and thoughtful action. Don't let the media push you into lower-level instinctive reactions during the holidays. Engage in sustainable thanksgiving. Align with your soul during the four weeks of Advent leading to the winter solstice and the rebirth of the sunlight. Resurrect your soul from the chains of greed and pride. Keep your inner flame alive. The verse 37 for the last soulful week of the autumn reads, My heart yearns to shine light into dark nights, to encourage every soul to seek its spirit roots and sing the words of love. Allow your loving voice arise from the quiet place within. Mm, yes, but it's not easy, is it? The noise of the media is overwhelming. That's why I began publishing the weekly blog Soulful Sparks of Inspiration two years ago. I needed meaningful nourishment for my soul. And I'm sharing it with all of you who crave a deeper and more satisfying spiritual engagement. Be inspired to inspire. Go deeper to shine brighter. If you'd like to receive three weekly soulful sparks, click on the link below to subscribe. I'm looking forward to welcome you in my circle of friends. I'll email you the weekly Soulful Sparks verse and image along with my article, which is a collage of my ruminations on the week ahead. You'll receive the PDF pages from the Soulful Sparks calendar 2016 for the remaining weeks of this year for free. You'll also get the code for 20% discount on the Soulful Sparks calendar 2017, which has just been published. I'm so excited to announce this. And it's beautiful, it really is. The link is below if you'd like to order it. And I'll remind you by email when the second episode of the Soulful Sparks calendar series is ready. We'll look at what's up ahead during the soul's winter journey. To give you a hint, it's all about the heartfelt connection with each other. And I'd like to know, how did you like this episode about the soul's autumn journey? I'm looking forward to reading your comments below. Soulful blessings to all. Because sometimes all you need is a gentle nudge, a kind word to keep your flame alive.